saying that the babies are big in comparison to the mothers. I joined the board of Gavi because I was invited on the telephone by Nelson Mandela himself. He at the time was chair of the Gavi Fund Board and he said to me, Mary, you're working in Geneva for human rights, there's no more human rights issue than uh, being able to reach every child and give each child that life chance. Uh, it shouldn't be that some children, because they live in a remote village or in the heart of a deep slum, will not be reached. That's not acceptable. I've seen the lines of hope of women with smiles on their faces, with babies well wrapped and held in their arms with you know, loving care, and they're proud of the fact that their children are immunized because they know this is the best start I can give my child. We can afford it, we can deliver it, we can make it possible. How could we not? How could we say to any mother, sorry, um, we, don't, we can't reach your child, we're too busy? <laughs> I do feel very badly that in the 21st century, 24 million children are not getting what every child has a human right to receive, the right to basic health care, the right to basic vaccines. The listening I think we've done is understanding the need to support the strengthening of the health and delivery system within country. We've also listened, I'm glad to say, to the need to have a more gender perspective. It is a matter of equity and a matter of concern to me personally that many girls now in their early teens are um, availing of the HPV vaccine which will prevent cervical cancer. But where the problem is greatest in the developing countries, um, there isn't that access yet. And that is a big challenge. Have you other children? Yeah. 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 Okay. One of the aspects of Gavi that has impressed me is the commitment of the donor governments and their contribution at the board level. Uh, they are donors who are very aware of the need for donor effectiveness. So uh, I find that the contributions of the donors are extremely significant on our board towards the strategy of planning well for Gabby's reach and the future of the vaccine programme. I think the value of Gavi is it's very 21st century. It has recognised that we can do a lot more if we do it coherently together in a genuine partnership. Uh, we're working with our UN partners, with the World Bank, with donor governments, with governments in countries that are uh, working with us for the children of the country. And we have a reach to civil society and a reach to the industry and I think that these are very important components. This is, this is a great way, a great, great way to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Convention on the Rights of the Child. These are very difficult financial times and everybody is aware of a kind of crunch in so many different ways and yet there's no doubt that because Gavi is very cost effective, very coherent, very much a partnership and broad alliance, very good at delivery and what it delivers is life saving for children. Um, it is I think um, a very important entity to continue to support and indeed to continue to accelerate its reach. I do think that the, the message has really got across. Um, this funding is the most efficient, most effective, and it will help the health system itself uh, to be able to be preventive in immunising rather than pick up the pieces afterwards and trying to cope with illnesses that were preventable. And we know that it has prevented the deaths of many children. But I still hear 
ringing in my ears, that first phone call with Nelson Mandela, you know, saying, you're in Geneva working on human rights. This is a huge human rights issue. Gavi must be able to reach every child everywhere. And when Grassa spoke to us as chair, she always reminded us during a meeting what our real purposes were. We never got too bogged down in the bureaucracy of the meeting or the technicality of the alliance. And that day. She would say, remember what we're about. Remember why we're here. Remember the children we must reach. Have their faces in our minds. Then we'll do the work better. You make me feel You make me feel You Which are a woman.